So we started looking into integration because we have a process by which we load data, right? Customers send us information about um, their patients, medical information. And we have a very manual process that takes that information and loads it through a series of tables, right? It's very manual. There's a lot of problems with that. Um, not only the time that's saved, but also the quality of the data that gets through. There's too much data for us to really monitor it, right? So a lot of errors occur while we're going through this process. So we looked into getting a solution to do that, to automate this whole process. We really wanted a lights out solution to take this data from the point at which it's dropped off to an FTP server, for example, through to the point where we have it into our core application where our nurses can start to call and work with these patients. So we chose Pervasive because we needed to handle um, more industry standard file formats, right? We're in healthcare and we've in the past had not standardized our files, right? So we receive a variety of file types and that really hurt us in the long run. Um, so we wanted to move towards standards. So we wanted to work with industry standard healthcare file formats like HIPAA files, NCPDP files, HL7 files. But we also wanted to be able to better handle the more complex file types like mainframe generated COBOL files, right? We have ways to do that, or we had ways to do that prior to bringing in Pervasive, but it was usually a combination of SAS scripts, SQL code, DTS packages, right? There wasn't really a uniform solution. To, to move this data. When we brought in the pervasive tool set, really the idea what, that we had was to configure something that was completely automated, right? We wanted this lights out process so that we could take the work away from the analysts and let them do more of what they were hired to do, which was analyze data and ensure data gets into our system so our patients, um, so we can receive input more patients into our programs. So to that end, we needed a full soup to nuts automated solution. So what we did, and this was through a series of iterations, we eventually came up with sort of an engine into which we could feed any data file from any source and through meta information residing in tables, it was able to grab that information at runtime and process this data using a single transformation step. Makes it very powerful, makes it very scalable. If we want to add changes, we can simply add components to a single master process, whereas before we had a separate process for each customer. Now we have one process to update, one process to QA, and it's much more streamlined and much easier to manage and deploy. At this point, we're loading roughly 20 to 30 million records per month, right? Customers send us new information every month, and over each of the previous past two years, we've had a 250% increase in data volumes, right? And a lot of times, we not only process monthly files, but we may have to reprocess a set of historical files. So we may receive files that are 10, 20 gigabytes in size that we have to process for a single customer. So it's, that accumulates quite fast. It gets quite large. I know our data stores are well into the terabytes. I don't have the exact numbers, but they're big. I think the biggest challenges that we ran into when implementing the system was really just not understanding what we had at the point we purchased it, right? So we took an existing process, a very manual process, and we tried to mimic that with the tool. And uh, there's value in that. There's value in just connecting the dots of a manual process. In fact, if that's the only thing we did with this tool set, it would still be worth the price of admission. But what ended up happening was um, analysts were still spending a lot of time maintaining these processes as they were the older sort of code-based processes. So what we really didn't do up front was understand that we have all this additional functionality Let's think about that and you know, reassess what the, real, what the process is and make it more efficient. What took the most time was generating the maps, the transformations, because as I said, we had no standards in the beginning, so we have a variety of file types. In fact, we loaded 120 files last month. We may very well have 120 different file formats. And comparing how we are now with what we were at before, we've had, it's just a world of difference. Number one, we've saved time, right, because um, the process is automated and it's doing stuff, it's aware of itself so it can move files without the need for human manipulation, right, so it's much faster. But what goes unnoticed is the fact that these analysts who were spending time doing this in the past, the time they're spending doing this now is approaching zero, right, so this is really freeing up their time. So there's also a quality aspect of it too, whereas prior we, we were unable to assess the quality of the data coming into our systems, right, we had no way to generate a system of metrics to really understand 
is this good data, is this bad data, right? It was a very manual process, and eventually this system would break. That's how we would find out about bad data. So we may go through five, six, seven days worth of data loading just to get to the point where, oh, geez, we need more information from this customer. So we've just wasted all that time. We have to go back to the customer and have them resubmit it. Now that we're using the data profiler, we're able to do that automatically and then identify which records are bad, pull those records out so that the good data can continue on and load into our system so we can get patients enrolled much quicker and then offline be able to address the issues with the bad data. It doesn't stop our process. The best aspects of the data integrator along with the profile is profiler is the fact that um, you can take you have a full set of tools to create an entire solution. I've seen tools where you can do some transformations and some stuff where you can do some profiling, but the real value, as, as we see it, how we use it, we can do all this stuff without the need for human manipulation. So it's not just the profiler, it's not just the data integrator and the mapping services, but it's the invokers, right, the extended components, the extensibility of the, the fact that you write your information to XML files, right? We can update that information at runtime to be very creative and do things that we could never do in the past. Uh, the, ma the fact that you can build macro-driven processes, right, that are very dynamic. That's really the biggest benefit of this tool is to be able to take a process that had probably four different big manual steps that it had to go through and then automate that entire thing um, to not only get the data loaded quicker, but to get the data loaded cleaner and quicker so we can get these patients enrolled to our program.